with donations because nobody on our side is being accused of a kickback scheme for donations. Hey. week we learned about fraud and forgery in the Peterborough election scandal. Now we're learning about this alleged kickback scheme for donations. And yet the Prime Minister seems to think that he's just going to damn the torpedoes and ride this one out. It's a question of his judgment. Does he really think the Canadians aren't going, are going to believe that he wasn't aware of these damning court documents? Mr. Speaker, when was he aware? The Honourable Prime Minister Secretary of the Minister of Transport. Uh, the Honourable Member claims that the NDP uh, is facing no existing allegations of breaking electoral financing laws. And you know what? He might be right because they've already been found guilty of the allegations that were outstanding against them. They had to admit that on two separate occasions they broke the law once to funnel money to a left-wing pressure group and on another occasion to accept illegal donations explicitly outlawed under the Accountability Act from a union. Now, I'm just asking him for, for him to stand and explain how much illegal money did his party take and how much have they given back. appeal to the member for Peterborough. He's got a pretty lousy defense attorney because the issue here is the fact that he is being ex investigated for, quote, concealing and misrepresenting spending. He is being investigated for fraud and forgery, and now there's allegations of a bonus for a bucks kickback scheme. Yeah. So if he could just move the Nepean member out and explain whether or not he's spoken to the Prime Minister, whether the Prime Minister is backing him, and why is the Prime Minister not asking him to step down while this ethical cloud hangs over his head? Oh. The Honourable Prime Minister, Secretary of the Minister of Transport. Speaker, uh, the Honourable Member uh, in question has already filed all of his documents almost four years ago with Elections Canada. That uh, agency confirmed those documents. They were audited and verified many years ago. And in fact, the member has still not even heard anything from the agency uh, to this day. By contrast, the NDP admits now to having accepted illegal donations from union bosses and admits that it had to give some of that money back. I'm just asking that they come clean now, Mr. Speaker. Stand up and ask and tell us all, how much illegal money did they take? How much did they give back?